Last spring, we did a segment on species tulips and how different they are from your traditional hybrid tulip. Now, as you can see, they do look a little bit different. In fact, they're a little daintier than our traditional hybrid tulips that we often think of with their bold color and their wide strappy foliage. Now, the thing about the hybrid tulips, while we love them, we only get one growing season out of them because they typically are served as an annual here in our garden. Now, the neat thing about the um, species tulips is that they're often touted as being perennials. So we all know that reading something can be a lot different than actually trialing something in your garden, especially here in Oklahoma. So about two years ago, we went and bought every type of species tulip that we could find on the market. And we have planted two plots of each one of them along our walkway here. Now, of course, last spring we went over all of the different types that we had planted here and we had great success with them, but that was their first year. So we expected them to come up. This is the second season. So I wanted to report back to you and let you know what we're actually seeing returning as a perennial here in our garden. Last year, one of the first ones to bloom for us was Tulipia clusiana, variety chrysantha. And I'm happy to report that this one came back up in both plots for us this season also. Within Tulipia clusiana, there are a couple of additional varieties we tested. Lady Jane has shown to be just as hardy with both plots returning. However, peppermint stick and variety stellata are showing to be a little more reluctant to return. Both have one plot that isn't showing any foliage and one plot with foliage, but no buds. Continuing on with tulips that have returned the second season are Tulipia sylvestris that has a pure yellow color, Tulipia whitleyi with a bit more of a traditional coppery orange tulip look, but still is slightly smaller. Uh, Persian pearl is a deep rich purple with a yellow center and now I want to mention though, last year I did say that Persian pearl was a little disappointing because the flowers were blooming really low into the ground. However, I'm happy to report that they are much taller this season, while still kind of a shorter tulip. So I suspect the fact that last year they were blooming so low was more because of our initial planting depth. Also, Tulipia bakeri, um, which is a lilac wonder, also successfully returned in both plots and offers a soft pink color in the garden. Now switching to some of the species tulips in which we're seeing some mixed results is Tulipia turkstanica. With a little bit more of a unique look, it bears several star-shaped flowers on each stem. In one plot, it has returned quite well, and in the other, we have yet to see anything. Shogun, and Bronze Charm, both with orange flowers, have only shown to grow foliage in one plot at this point. However, I must recognize that Bronze Charm was one of the later ones to bloom last year, so we'll continue to watch for it. Finally, we had two species tulips that have not shown any signs of returning in either plots. One is Tulipia linifoliaria, which has red flowers, and while at this point we aren't seeing anything, Again, it was noted last year as being one of the last ones to bloom, so it might still emerge a little bit later. The other one is Tulipia tarda, and unfortunately, um, we haven't seen anything growing in either one of those plots, so it may mean that it is not going to return for us this year. Now, I have to admit, this was just a small demonstration, and so take it for what it is. This isn't research or anything like that. And we also didn't protect any of these tulips. They have not been protected from wildlife that might have come in and dug some of these, although we haven't seen any signs of that. And also, we've had a lot of fluctuating temperatures over the last two seasons. In fact, we've had some freeze damage that we've noted on some of these as well on the flower buds because of late freezes. The other thing too is they are kind of in a, an area that has got a lot of traffic coming through here, both with mowers and people. Um, and so who knows, there are a number of factors that could have influenced why they maybe didn't return this year. However, if you do wanna add some species tulips that have shown to return in Oklahoma gardens, check out this list. We hope you enjoyed this video as part of our Oklahoma Gardening YouTube channel. You can also find even more videos on the OK Gardening Classics YouTube channel. And join us on social media for great gardening tips, photos, and discussion.